just wanted to show you guys my breakfast. This is going to be my breakfast. This is about 350 calories, so it's not bad. Um, yeah, the crackers, you get six for 110 calories. And the, um, the I, I just usually estimate, so or estimate. So the egg salad, I'm guessing, is about like 250 calories. And I'm being very generous with that because I use very little mayo. <laughs> Okay guys, we're pulling up to Value Village's 50% off sale. There's already some people waiting. It's 8.40. I think we should start lining up because, yeah, we might as well. So we're here waiting at Value Village. Oh, there's like a Beamer right there. I wonder if they're... Always oh, like the nice cars coming here. Yeah. Someone in showcase, please. I'll have to get some. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so the bag is not here anymore, but we can still look. Ooh, they have that. We might get them in gold cars, I'm not sure yet. But the bag that we wanted isn't here anymore. Oh, it's unfortunate. over here. It's still there. Oh. <laughs> Hi. You were here first? Yes. She was here first? <laughs> Can I get the, the Michael Kors? The black one. Yeah, I'm only oh, great. Can I also see the Louis Vuitton one? Mm -hmm. Yes, and I'll also get that bag over there. And which? Yeah. Which is funny because that I, it's my name still on there. <laughs> oh, there's something. I, don't, I guess someone forgot okay. to put it back. I have to deal with one person first. You might want to see. And you want the suit? I know, but maybe she wants to see the same one. So. Those two, or just this one? That one and the one over there. Okay. So what was the one you wanted to were you Is this search? And I'm different. No, I know, but were you next? I don't know who's next. Um, you? He was next. Okay, so what did you want to see? The wallet? Yeah. Okay. It's a stressful day today. <laughs> Yes. You still have your coupon for the other bag or? No, I don't. I, that was like there like three days ago. So. Yeah, the weekend they don't take it. What's the date? Today? Back 40 already. There was like a huge lineup right. Really? There's a lineup? Yeah. Where's the basket? Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. On sale day, it's always like that. Eh? On sale day, it's always like that. Yeah. And I was deciding which one I wanted to go to, this one or? Pull apart. I'm gonna grab this Louis Vuitton because they sell like that. <laughs>
they're still good. Yeah. I think that they can get for 25 bucks each. Yeah. I can, I can flip it for 60 bucks. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> Oh, they see you. Eh? They think see you in the gun. Yeah. <laughs> but I lost that on the... On the... I know, before I came in, someone just went around there like red, red, red. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. Maybe I should grab this. <laughs> Oh, well, happy fucking. Yeah, you too, man. Okay. We need to have the ESQ there. Let's go take a look at it. That's my buddy over there. We always run, run into each other at, at these things. Let's go look at the other. Oh. Let's go look at the other purses. In the regular section, maybe we'll find something there. section. Weirdness. What is this? An indigo. Um, Purple crossbody for, huh? Yeah, no, I think we've seen this one before. <sighs> there was like already an argument over there at the other side because, you know, they're only allowed to help one person at a time when they're at the showcase. And the guy's like, "I want to see this," and she's like, "Well, she might want to see it first than she was here," which is true. Coach, 20 bucks. No. I'm not finding any good leather bags over here. Where's Claiborne? <coughs> oh, here's a coach, but it's kind of toe up. 40 bucks for this. Hell no. I wouldn't even buy that for 10, to be honest. Oh, 
Oh, there's a cute little guest bag, but I don't know. got the Michael Kors for, for um, $45 plus tax and then we got the the coach I think is like $35 plus tax it's a cute little Tommy Hilfiger crossbody you know, not for that price though I didn't really see anything in the regular purse section, but we're just checking out the backpacks. Seeing if we see anything. Mm. And I think we're gonna head over to the to the Unicity one and see if they have that Michael Kors one over there. I don't really want to focus on wallets just because we have a lot of a lot of wallets already. Yeah, I think we're done here. Ralph Lauren Polo and some other small little vials of... Is this a polo knockoff? No, it is polo. Who's you? This is give me this one. Oh. Okay. This one? Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Ooh, they have this eco soap for three bucks. There's a few eco soaps in here, and this really looking expensive looking soap. And I might get that too.
Miss Dior right here. It's like that much left, but for three bucks. And all this extra shit in it. Maybe. Maybe. Mm. We have this body shop set, but who knows how long it's been in there. Ooh, they have a boss. I wish they would put everything like the good stuff <laughs> all together. Hi. Oh, where were we going? Oh, I think we'll go over here for a second. Okay. So this I want to get. I mean, this looks really ratchet in here, but I don't know all this other stuff if we can salvage anything in there. But I want the Misty Dior perfume. I mean, for three bucks for that, that would be like a deluxe size sample with all the stuff that's left in it. And then this one with the polo. Ooh, there's a Givenchy gentleman in there. A few little vials of perfume in there. And this has the soaps. Do I really want this though? I mean, I have a lot of soap already. Yeah, well, I think I'll put this one back. I do have a lot of soaps already that I haven't used yet. So, we'll just get these two. There we go. How much is this? It's not bad for this warmer. $24.99 for a PS2. I like looking at the home decor too. I think it's kind of cute. Mm. That's kind of for festive, but not for five bucks. The one that we bought was worth five bucks, but that one not so much. Someone is buying that Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> the showcase is almost uh, all gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, for sure. We that's where, that's where I went. Is this the showcase? Yeah. Better quality stuff in here. Yeah. Are you done shopping? Yes. You, yeah. Okay, if you want to go to the front, I'll bring it. Okay, thank you. Oh, there? Okay. Everybody. Okay, so we just came from Value Village. We did manage to pick up both those bags. I was kind of on the fence on the coach bag, but the fact that it was only 30 bucks, I think that I can kind of like make some money on it being 30 bucks. I mean, it is leather and it isn't factory outlet, but I don't know. Well, the color too, like it's black. So I figured that would be a selling point. Anyway, we're gonna head over to the other Value Village that has the other Michael Kors bag for like 40 bucks and the Brighton bag. I don't know, we're gonna head over there. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be taken, but you know, we could just check it out and see if it is there. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, exciting day today. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, it's Miss Philly. Um, Okay, so I'm going to show you what we got before we head over to the next location. Um, so I ended up popping on this Michael Kors uh, drawstring bag. It is factory outlet, but it's a cute style. It's just, you know, kind of like hobo style. Top handle, if you're skinny, you could probably go over the shoulder. I thrifted this bag before at Play-Doh's, I believe. So getting it for $45, so like 50 bucks after taxes probably. Well, for this bag and the coach bag together, it was like $80, $84. So $42 per bag is what we're going to go as. We're not going to go with the price tag. We're just going to divide it into and go $42, $42. And so, I mean, it's a cute bag. It's all leather. It's in great quality. I'll, I'll refresh the leather with my leather cleaner and conditioner. And I think I can get at least like, you know, $55, 60 <laughs> And the inside is just a snap closure with the middle compartment, which is cute. And it has that cinch detail. And the corners are pretty good. There's not much like scuffing on it. So yeah, for 42 bucks, I think you can't really can't go wrong with that. This is the one I was kind of tossed up against. I mean, it's in cute tote bag. 
I mean, the corners have a little bit of wear, but nothing that a little bit of leather cleaner and conditioner can't fix. I'm not a fan of these straps, but they're intact and it's not factory outlet, which is the big selling point of this bag, I think. Um, the inside is pretty clean as well. Um, and also it's black, so black is good. Black is nice. Yeah, this, overall it's a good tote, you know, right? Came with the little kind of, I think overall it's a cute bag for 42 bucks. Coach with a cinch detail on the side. Not as big of a, it's not as big of, it's not as great quality as their boutique bag. So I don't really know how this is a boutique bag because it doesn't feel like substantial like my other coach bag that I got from Play-Doh. So um, I don't know, maybe it's one of their newer bags or the bags where they kind of cheapen a little bit. But I mean, it's a solid bag, but it's not like luxury the way other coach bags feel like it's luxury. Okay, I want to open up these little kind of thingamajigs. Uh, these were, this was like three bucks. There was, this is not 50% off, so I paid three bucks for this. Okay, so we have the Mysteor. This is what really I kind of went, this is the only reason I bought it, so. Mmm, it smells fresh still. Yum, and it's like that much. So for three bucks, I'm willing to spend that. Cuteness. I forgot, I haven't had Miss Dior. Oh no, I've had Miss Dior Cherie. This is Miss Dior Parfum. Okay, that's different. Okay, what is this? All this other shit. <laughs> Ew, this Lancome looks toe up from the flow up. Why would you even put this in here? Like, it's all dried up. Like, come on, Value Village. Give your head a shake. That's going in the garbage. And what is all this other shit? Okay, we have a... Elizabeth Arden lip gloss, but it looks like, yeah, well, it doesn't, it doesn't look used that, well, actually, no, it does look empty, empty, so garbage, what is this, L'Oreal Paris, uh, lip lacquer, ew, oh, gross, I ain't gonna even fiddle with that, garbage, 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 Elizabeth Arden mascara. Yeah, like that's gonna go anywhere near my eyes. Garbage. 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 So basically I paid three bucks for this, which I think is worth it because there's like at least 30 to 40 sprays left in this perfume. All these little vials. So this polo. Okay. Oh no. No, this isn't perfume. It's aftershave. Ugh. I thought it was perfume. Oh no, it is eau de toilette. Okay, but there's no spray bottle. Odd, mm, smells like really, really manly and really like hot guy. Shocker, I know. What is this? Knowing Estee Lauder. Okay, we'll keep that. Allure Chanel, hello! Mm. X, Y, Eau de Toilette Man. Okay. Adrian Vitattini, Venezia. Okay. <laughs> All the other ones you don't want, we're gonna put in here and then we're gonna donate back to them. What's this? Eau de Toilette, Aqua da Gio. Keeping. Azaro, Poor Home, keeping. Liz Claiborne, now. What's this? X, Y, Hugo, keeping. Oscar de la Renta, no. What is this? Seretero, made in France, keeping. What is this? Fifth Avenue, Elizabeth Arden, ugh, hate that smell. What's this? Is it Van Cleef and Arpel, Paris. This is like so vintage bottle, look at that. I might just keep that for the vintage bottle. This is Halston for women. No, that's so 70s. Knowing Estee Lauder. Donate. What is this? Christian Dior. Dune. Keeping. Givenchy. Givenchy, gentlemen. Keeping. Dolce Gabbana. The one. 
on the platform. Keep bang. Ew, Celine Dion and it's empty. Bye-bye. Empty garbage, I meant. <laughs> Dolce and Gabbana put home. Keeping. And finally, Alston. The 14 Colon. Donate. So I'm going to donate these back. And these ones we're keeping. Okay, guys. See you at the next location. Ow! Okay, guys. We are at Value Village. Um, the one in Unicity. So, yeah. We're just going to check it out. See if we find anything inside. Woo! Like most of it is gone. Yeah. We have this Danier, which is cute. I mean, might get, I don't know. Oh, there's a little bit of peeling here. So, no. Also, gas, gas, gas. Nope, nothing here. Perfumes in here. And the Diaz. That's kind of cute. Hmm. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Hey. They have like a bunch of blankets here. I don't know what kind they are though. percent off that and it's very like Hermes birthday ish a little bit of wear on the corners but inside's, only... inside's decent some pen marks but nothing major hold on to that oh, this is cute. what is this looks like Chloe what is that Charlotte Reed, London. They have this. Brand new, 10 bucks. Super busy here today. Esprit collection. Oh, that looks like Gucci or Dior. Oh, thanks, Komodo. Hmm. We'll still get it. I guess the trim is leather, the rest is canvas. I know Vince Camuto bags can be super expensive, like in the two to three hundred dollar range. What is that? What kind of bag is this? I think it's probably a thing though. Lucky brand, maybe not. Mm. Oh, look at this cute little fig Chanel. <laughs> I 
we want for it. 30 bucks for a fake Chanel, really? Great. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, the little too expensive for that. This guest bag is kind of cute. For eight bucks. Uh, that handle's bothering me though. Of course, the Brighton bag and the Michael Kors bag are gone, which was to be expected. She's very Louis Vuitton, but not. Let us look over here. What is this? Naturalizer. I don't know what brand this is, but it's twelve ninety nine. Swiss Army backpack. So I got these two bags which are good I suppose. <laughs> yeah, these Michael Kors. Um oops. Let's see. These Michael Kors for $17.99. Bali, made in England. Very like 70s or 80s.
look over at the where the backpacks are. There's the, the Vince Camuto bag and then the Daniel leather bag. So those are what those look like. I thought Vince Camuto was like all leather bags. I guess not so much anymore if it's only 25% leather. Home decor, I really like this. $79, made in Canada. This thing is originally $75. The price tag is still underneath, but we want $35 for it. Like, look at this vase. It's like 40 bucks. Like, why? why? Well, I guess it's really, really heavy too. So we ended up getting this. What am I going to get this as well? Okay guys, so we're just coming from Value Village. We picked up those two bags. I basically paid $13 for two bags, a Daniel leather bag and the uh, Vince Camuto bag. I mean, you can't get a better deal than that. So that was like a super good deal. I think we're gonna go by to Polo Park and see if we find anything over there. Uh, ew, a bug in my face. Um, yeah, well, I'll see you in the next location. Um, I don't know, I feel kind of... It's weird. Um, Value Village isn't having the sale at like every single Value Village. It's kind of weird because Value Village, the 50% off sale isn't at every other Value Village. I mean, in my city it is, but in Toronto, apparently there is no sale. So I don't know what's going on. I mean, usually when one Value Village has it, usually they all do. So I don't know what's going on there. In Canada, that is. Um, the transmission like came out of my car. So I don't know why. I mean, it's like brand new car. What's going on there? I don't know. I mean, a freaking Cadillac. Um, yeah. Oh, I want to also mention, I've been listening a lot to Vivica A. Fox's I'm a, Everyday I'm a Hustler Audible. It's so good. If you guys want self-empowerment, uh, if you want um, uh, to succeed in business and just in general as a person, it's a really motivating Audible. I really like it a lot. And, you know, that's the kind of attitude and behavior and humor that I'm accustomed to and I have, so I can relate to the book. Um, but it's a really good read. Check it out on Audible. Vivica A. Fox, the actress. Um, Every day I'm hustling. Really good audible. This is Miss Philly. Um, okay, so we didn't find anything at Polo Park Value Village, but I'm going to show you what we got from the other one. We just picked up two bags, this Vince Camuto bag. It says 25% leather. I thought Vince Camuto, uh, everything was leather, but apparently it's not. So I'm guessing the trim and the leather is, the trim and the handles are leather, but it looks like that. It's kind of very like, I forgot what what pattern that was from Louis Vuitton that came out, the Kisamoto or the Japanese one, the pattern with the Yoko Ono pattern, whatever. But it has an old dangle purse charm. It has this slit pocket here. Then the, the strap kind of goes over to secure it. And then it's like a zip top closure and it has a little Vince Camuto kind of emblem right there. It's cute. I like it. And then this Danier leather bag, very like Kelly-ish. There's no, I think the law, no, the, the lock is decorative only. And it's uh, it's in well-used condition, but everything is secure and fastened. And um, it's pretty good condition. I mean, I paid $13 for both bags, so you can't go wrong with that. Um, you know, it's, it's a good bag. I'm probably going to post this locally and see how it goes. Because something with a little bit more wear locally does, does better, I think. Um... But yeah, got that and this. That's all. Thank you guys for joining me. Love you. We're at the Value Village by my house. And as you can see, like the, the pickings are really, really, really slim here. Like, look at the, it's like bare, 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 bare. Mm. Like so much has been picked over. It's not even funny. It is hilarious. Cake wall shop. <laughs> Ooh, maybe they have a cute makeup bag. Or is that Dior one? 
someone probably got it already. even think there's a point in looking over things because it is slim pickings. This is a cute vegan leather bag. Oh no, it's damaged. Baby, it's damaged. Damaged. Why is this $30? I think it's like for old school ink. I'm not sure, but... Saying Bush made in USA. Really expensive though, 30 bucks. 